Today I have a huge vegan grocery haul and by huge I mean huge probably one of the biggest grocery loads that my boyfriend and I have done since moving here to Seattle my boyfriend and I have gotten really good at meal planning and at writing down exactly what we want to have this week that way we don't waste any food so pretty much all of this stuff is going to be cooked up into one of one two three four five six recipes plus just standard other snacks and stuff. First of all, let me just mention what we're gonna have this week. Um, we're gonna have tikka masala, yum. Uh, what is this? Butternut squash enchiladas, I wrote BNS, and I was like, what does that mean? Falafel tacos, tofu sandwiches, vegetable lasagna, vegan of course, and dal. So the first thing I got are these. These are some pretzel crisps. These are the everything ones. Pretzels are usually not vegan, but these thin ones are. I was so excited. I got some seventh generation laundry detergent. Also got some uh, natural fabric softener sheets because regular fabric softener sheets are chemical laden disgusting things. So got some of these. Yes, bagels are vegan. I was questioning that at first too, but they are. Most bagels are accidentally vegan. Um, these are local, fresh, never frozen, so I'm really excited. I'm probably gonna free, oh, oh my god, that smells so good. Got some parchment paper. A few recipes that I've been trying to make recently have called for this and I don't have it, so I just had to do it on a plain baking sheet which is always worrisome for me because you never want things to stick. I got some baby spinach. I used to never buy spinach in these plastic things because I hate the waste, um, but at Whole Foods, the one that my boyfriend works at, they don't have bulk spinach, so I just got it in the plastic. Yeah, this is quinoa. The bag was leaking, so I put it in another bag. I just got a little bit of quinoa. Not a ton. We don't use it too, too much, but just enough to have on hand for when we need it. Organic cane sugar, I've been baking a lot and experimenting with some vegan brownies, which I can't wait to do a video on because I have mastered vegan brownies. So, um, got some more cane sugar for that. Got some Daya mozzarella style shreds. I don't think I've ever tried Daya cheese. People either love it or hate it. This was on sale for I think $3 when it's normally almost five. I think it was $4.99 originally and it was like $3.20. So I went for it because we're going to make, uh, what's it called? We're going to make lasagna, so I thought this would be a nice addition to it. I got some natural mi abuelita bonita of Sacramento <laughs> tortillas. I was really excited. It says 100% vegan right there. I love when they put it on the label so you don't have to question it. Two cans of tomato sauce for the lasagna. Lazy as hell, I'm just doing jarred instead of making our own. Um, so yeah, I've got two of those for that. Dill relish, we have sweet relish right now and Marcus really wanted dill relish. Got some pancake syrup because we got some like authentic syrup not long ago and it was so watery and you could hardly taste it. And we were like, this fancy shit sucks. This is just for when we make pancakes at home and um, for some recipes do call for a lot of actually quite a bit of vegan recipes call for maple syrup because it's instead of honey so got some more of that got some tahini I love tahini I make a lot of recipes that call for tahini unfortunately this is roasted kind I don't know if I've ever had roasted tahini before I think I did and I didn't care for it but they were out of the raw kind and all of the other ones that they had that were raw were very expensive. So went for this one because it's not too big. So hopefully we'll use it up quick. I got two cans of sweet corn, organic coconut milk. I love coconut milk. Use it in lots of Indian recipes, lots of Thai recipes. I love to make kind of like a berry sorbet in my blender and add swirled in coconut milk. Ooh, it's so good. So got a couple cans of this. Got some spices here, I got some more turmeric, smoked paprika, and then I got some garam masala seasoning. This is for the tikka masala. I still have three more bags. <laughs> I got a huge thing of basil because the recipe that I'm using for the lasagna is an Oshi Glows one, and it's a, um, a cashew cream basil sauce, and then you add the red sauce as well. Ooh, fancy. I got some plastic storage bags. I know I'm terrible, but um, we don't use these too often. This is mostly just to store. A lot of times if I have ripe bananas, I put them in these, freeze them. No boil lasagna noodles. Salsa, because 
always got to have salt in the house. One of my favorite things to always have on hand is some mellow white miso by the miso master this is my favorite kind i got two cans of black beans no salt added non-bpa lining good shit right there got a ton of frozen fruit i got two bags of whole strawberries and two bags of the berry medley i've been out of this for a while so i'm very excited to be able to make smoothies again got some taco shells this is going to be for the falafel tacos that i'm going to make this week my third baking powder I went for some So Delicious coconut milk creamer. I hope it's not too coconut tasting. My, uh, I'm trying to lay off soy. I was consuming a lot of soy for a while. We were having tofu all the time. I was blending up tofu in my smoothies because it's delicious. Having fake meats all the time. One day I had this awful reaction after eating some pasta where I made, I blended some soy up in it. And I was like terrified after that. I was like, I think I've developed a soy intolerance. So I'm trying to stay away from consuming a lot of soy at once. Um, I still have, we had a fake meat patty sandwich last night because there was nothing else in the house, obviously based off this food haul. Um, so I'm still consuming soy, but just, I'm not gonna do soy milk anymore. It's just too much. I'm gonna cut back on tofu significantly and of course cut back on fake meat significantly. Um, long story freaking short, uh, I went for this because we go through alternative milk so quick between cereal and recipes and coffee. We're just going through it like crazy. So I thought using this for coffee, it's a bit more thicker and creamier. I'm hoping that this will help me to, you know, be able to get more bang for my buck when I add it to coffee. I got some field roast. Uh, smoked apple sausages. I have a really excellent recipe that I use um, just one little sausage with and some tofu and potatoes and it's delicious so this is our cat bear isn't he precious he's the most handsome black cat in the world these are <laughs> chocolate chips dark chocolate chips no dairy of course these are again for brownies <laughs> Some so delicious coconut milk. This is what I've been using instead of um, soy milk. I went the very lazy route and got already pre-chopped butternut squash, which is why it was a little bit more pricey. It was $6 for this. I got a huge bag of some on the vine still mandarin oranges. They were on sale for $2 for a big bag of them. Got two zucchinis, of course, for the vegetable lasagna. I just got two onions. I got a yellow and a red. We already have some onions here, but I'm going to be cooking a lot this week, so I wanted to make sure I had enough. And then I got one, two, three, four, five carrots. I just got a small little bunch of broccoli. We already have a bunch in there, but I'm going to be making vegetable lasagna and then two Indian recipes, and I love to have broccoli and, and Indian sauces and curries and stuff. So got another head just to have on hand. I got some cilantro. Again, this is for a recipe. I actually really don't like cilantro. I think it tastes like soap. I do love these Kumado tomatoes. They're uh, like a brown kind of heirloom kind. They're really good. These are like excellent sandwich tomatoes. Um, so I got these for like on uh, veggie burgers. They're super tasty. I got three lemons. I'm pretty sure this is the cashews I got. I got a big can of diced fire roasted tomatoes. I think this is for the tikka masala that I was going to make. I got a very green avocado. I think we still have one or two ripe ones in the fridge and I just wanted to have another one on hand. I got a red bell pepper, a bag of garlic, and these are the red lentils that I got for the doll. Some ginger. Wow. So that was everything. That was my humongous vegan grocery haul. 100% vegan here. Woohoo! Oh, let me tell you the total. Our total was $217.73. We got our discount on there. So uh, $43.55. So our total was only $175.90. That's going to make us tikka masala, butternut squash enchiladas, falafel tacos, tofu sandwiches, lasagna, and dal. And of course, other things. We got snacks, we got stuff for other stuff to have on hand. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them down below. I have all of my information, my uh, social media accounts, and all that good stuff in the bottom bar below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you like beauty and lifestyle videos, to my other one. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!